if I ask you to go to the market and buy food for me, you'll be like, why you want to go eat outside food? I can cook at home. But if I say that I'm sick and I need some medicine, you will not cook it at home. You will go immediately to the market, ask someone and get, get that medicine. Well, the whole world can do everything on their own. But when it comes to pharmaceutical and biotechnology markets, they have to depend on each other. Now, today's video is going to be an eye-opener for all the youngsters who are in the biotech and pharma profession or are going to pursue this profession. Because today, as we speak, the Trump tariff war is happening all around the globe. We will charge them approximately half of what they are and have been charging us. So. In fact, the pharmaceutical companies are also no longer immune to it. Various companies like Novo Nordisk, Ebvi, Eli Lilly have lost their market capitalization. But at the same time, Trump is now backtracking on the pharmaceutical industry and saying that we are going to have a different tariff apart from the regular tariffs for other industries. You know why? Because they can't cook this at home. They will have to depend on the other countries for the manufacturing, for the supply chain, for the distribution, right? And this brings me to today's video. Biotech and pharmaceutical industry is irreplaceable in this world. And if we have to strengthen any country, then their pharmaceutical industry, their biotech industry should be stronger. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Now we'll come to today's video topic. Like I said, biotech and pharmaceutical industry is irreplaceable in this world. Same way, AI is now going to be irreplaceable in the biotech and pharma industry. Why do I say that? Well, we'll take it from the biggest death-causing disease as we speak. No, it's not a lifestyle disease. It's a disease because of mutation. It's a disease because uh, some radiation hit us and we don't even know about it. And many near and dear ones are losing life. It doesn't discriminate in between rich and poor. We're talking about cancer. Cancer is one such disease which is impacting everybody. Researchers across the globe are working very, very hard to treat cancer or to achieve any kind of success in cancer. But one thing they realized is cancer is different for everybody. It is different for me, it is different for you. So the modus operandi to treat is going to be different. And that is where the approach comes from the genomic side. The approach comes from the data-driven side. What kind of medicine we should give and what concentration so that it will work, right? That is where AI is making tremendous advances. Let me talk about AI-based biomarker discovery, which can help us in early cancer detection. What if I tell you that you can work on this particular topic as a project? What if I tell you that you could predict cancer progression using the data, the genomics data which you have, the multi-omics data you have. What if you could identify the new antigens for personalized cancer vaccine? Have you heard of that? Well, what if I tell you that you can work on this? We can create uh, algorithms which will help us predict cancer drug resistance. We can create image detection techniques so that we can do radiomics for cancer diagnosis. We could utilize AI for analysis of tumor microenvironment using single cell data. Imagine we could even create an AI-powered immunotherapy response prediction. We could create a gene regulatory network analysis of cancer. We could create drug synergy prediction, drug repurposing using various combination therapies in cancer. This is just about cancer. Can we do similar things about HIV? Yes. Can we do similar things about neurodegenerative diseases? Yes. Can we really work on aging, the telomere shortening and that leads to aging? Can we really work on that? The answer to all these problems is utilizing the superpower which humans have developed over a period of time and that is AI. Now AI alone is powerless. It has to have some data and that is where bioinformatics comes into picture. The genomics data, the multi-omics data which we are getting today from all the sequencing we are doing, it helps us understand the pattern and AI helps us analyze that pattern, AI helps us extrapolate that pattern, AI helps us do the machine learning and deep learning part and predict the next viable options. And then we choose the best option based on their replicability in the lab. And that will lead to tremendous growth in the research area. I gave you probably 
seven to ten uh, different ideas on cancer. Similar things can be done in HIV. Similar thing, things can be done in developing brain computer interface. Similar things can be done in analyzing the neural activity pattern and classifying them. Similar things can be done in modeling neural plasticity using AI. This is where you come into picture. Well, all of this is not science fiction. It's already happening. It's happening right here in Biotechnica's CRO arm. And you can get a chance to work on these projects. We have various pharmaceutical and biotechnology partners who are outsourcing all of this to Biotechnica. And all we are doing is, of course, our research is happening side by side, a small part of that research. We are handing over to our students so that they can learn and then they can become a part of these projects permanently. You can even get a job within Biotechnica if you pursue it. Apart from that, once you've done the project, you can publish papers and you can go and get a job anywhere else. Our team will help you. We are providing 100% placement assistance as well. And all of this begins 25th of April. 25th of April, we'll start one month of training followed by six months projects, three months projects. And now these are all online. So it's not like you have to come down to Bangalore. Of course, you are in Bangalore. You're most welcome to come here and work with our scientists. If not, you can work with them online. Now imagine a world where you could make a difference through your research. You could publish that and you could get acknowledged. You could get recognized. It shoots your employability level by 100%. The time has come to jump into the AI bandwagon. The time has come to learn AI. The time has come to connect bioinformatics and biotechnology to AI. And the time has come for you to be the pioneer in AI, in biology. And for that, Biotechnica is here. We are starting our training program, plus projects from 25th of April. All you do is click the link in the description, chat with our experts, talk to them how we can help you in your career and then get into the AI Super Express. You're going to win because you have the power of Biotechnica. And once you are onto this bandwagon, you will realize that your projects are now making a real impact in the world of healthcare and science. I think that's the most satisfying thing you can do. And of course, it leads to a better employability, better package and better salaries. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and join us in this Odyssey, which begins 25th of uh, April, and I'll see you soon as an AIML scientist in Bali.